Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This is Element 3D Class 9. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So guys, I have seen many artists who are struggling to get a proper, cool, realistic camera motion or camera movement you can call it. But they are struggling so much, but after all, they are not getting their proper output. In this video, I will show you how you can create, in fact, how you can get a proper camera movement inside of After Effects by using some cool elements 3D as well. So what are you waiting for? I have rendered some cool examples for you. So let's take a look on that first and then jump into After Effects. Okay guys, right now we're in After Effects and I hope you really enjoyed those renders and uh, for creating this amazing camera shake or camera motion, we need a basic simple footage. So in my case, I have already. So I have this footage which you have can see that a basic simple camera motion is there. So basically what you have to do, we just have to do a 3D camera track for this. Just click this layer and from animation, just take this track camera. Now when the 3D camera track process is done, we no need to do any kind of tracking markers here. So just we have to click this create camera. So now we have our basic camera created. Right now you can delete this footage or just turn this off. Now we are taking another solid layer, right click new solid and let's rename it like element 3D and then just press OK. Now you have to apply element 3D from FX panel, video copilot and then element and then let's jump into element 3D. Now this is our basic scene setup. Now you can create any kind of interior, exterior or any kind of thing which you want to use that same camera motion. In my case, I'm using video copilot preferable VC starter pack and from here you can see the starter pack we have this so much corridors and all. Now for this we are taking this corridor pieces and I'm taking like corridor left from here and now the corridor left is created you can see. This is a basic corridor lift. Now what you have to do is just have to create your basic setup model. Now guys, the model is completely created successfully and we are now inside of this model. The basic process is done. So now to give this a proper realistic look, we are adding a cool reflection on this flow. To give this reflection, you just have to click this corridor loop flow. And from here, we are taking from default to mirror surface and same thing for this floor as well. So now if you notice the process is already getting slow because we already added some reflections and all. Now if you want to change or add anything here, it's just come to you. Then after that, we just have to press OK and let's jump into After Effects again. Now guys, we are back in After Effects and from here, group one, go to this particle replicator and particle look. Now we are changing some settings here, which is a basic simple settings. Just change the particle size to let's take around 20 and some other settings to adjust a simple position. To so adjust it, you just manually, randomly, you can adjust their positions, something like that. And it's completely up to you. So now guys, I have successfully adjusted all my position based on my preference. And now when you play this, you can see the exact camera motion is here. Now this is already looking just amazing, but we don't have any other specifications here. So let's add this. And if you notice in my this render, if you notice clearly, we have a special zoom here, something like that. And after a few times, the zoom out process is looking just amazing. So I'll show you how you can create this cool thing inside of After Effects. So now go to back again this composition. So if you create this effect, let's come to this area and go to this 3D camera, camera option and from here you just see the focus distance and apertures. You just turn all this and obviously zoom option as well. Now select all these three and go back to this area and again click here. So now what happened from this area to this area the process is exactly same. Now go to again this much frame and now you can increase this zoom capacity something like that. So now what happened when you click here to here, it's getting zoom, something like that. Now this value should take around seventh second and we have to click this again. So now what happened from this frame to this frame, the zoom value is same. And after that, when it's going again in front of screen, what you have to do, we just have to zoom it out. So now what happened when you zoom it out, something like that, let's make it more. And when you play it, 
you can see this cool effect is created. It means the camera is going forward, but the zoom is going backward. And then we have to the basic settings. If you notice in my this render, I have done some cool lighting setups like glow, ambient occlusions, CC, like color corrections. And obviously we have added a cool motion blur and depth of field. So when you applied all the settings for your footage, it should be look like this. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and if yes, then don't forget to like. Also, you can just like as well. But before leaving this video, please do subscribe and also like, comments and share. And guys, if you are still not follow us on our social media handles like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter, all links are in the description box below. I will see you in my next video. Till then, have fun, stay healthy, keep rocking, keep watching VFX World.